There it is, Tenerife's mutton hole. Of course, Roque del Taborno can't compare with the original. It's a 50 meter high tower rising above a small plateau, which rises directly out of the Atlantic for 6,000 meters. It's located north of the village of Taborno and can be easily reached by a short hiking trail. Taborno itself is a small hamlet with less than 100 inhabitants nesting on the steep hills of Anaga Mountains. It has a shop, chapel and few houses. It's sleepy, quiet and picturesque and the crowds are not there yet. The trail starts at the left side of the church and begins being a small street of the village and after a few meters it becomes a hiking path. We were quite lucky with the weather. In mid-January the temperature was 22 degrees and the sun was shining, so we enjoyed the views from the very beginning. Normally, due to trade winds from northwest, clouds cover the mountain tops for 200 days a year. Well, not today. The paths keep going next to the small farm located in the top of the small hill. The route is of medium difficulty and is divided into two sections that are covered in approximately three hours. The first one lasts one hour and 30 minutes with a descent of about 300 meters along the forest towards the northern part of Anaga. The first part can be a filter for those who are not sure if they can walk the exposed part because the path is very narrow and one has to be careful. In the second section you will get close to Roque del Taborno and will appreciate beautiful views of the sea and surrounding mountains. It was really windy that day and I wasn't sure it's wise to fly a drone. But I did it anyway. Uh, I did something quite stupid actually. I sent the drone uh, to film so, some footage over the ocean, 600 meters away, on 31% battery. Uh, so stupid. And uh, yeah, it couldn't make it, couldn't make it back. And uh, it landed down some ravine. So it took me half an hour to, to find it. But actually, I was lucky that I found it in the first place. <sighs> Stupid. At this point, I had no choice but to watch in despair how the drone was going down out of control and trying to see which cactus it will land on 50 meters down below. Luckily, I found the drone. So that was a happy ending. After the lucky escape, our next stop is the observation point of Mirador Roque Taborno, which offers 360 degrees of stunning views, deep gorges, knife edge ridges, dramatic canyons, and of course, the beautiful Atlantic Ocean. But I don't think that's climbable. It's steep, isn't it? Oh, look at that. Beauty. This is beautiful Naga Mountains in the northeast. Still in flowers. They belong to nature. <laughs> Definitely on a diet after the walk.
Yep. Amazing place, an amazing walk. It took us about three hours. Bear in mind, I lost my drone, so I wasted another hour. So, look in the bloody thing. It's actually it's not his fault, is it? It's me being stupid. <laughs> <laughs> 